What is the most annoying fan base? Serial killer fans. Politicians fan base. K-pop fans who take things a bit too far. I had friends who'd have fights over who is worthy to be called the wife of one of the K-pop idols. No, they weren't joking. Sonic fans are always a gamble. They can be so goddamn wholesome and nice, but then you got the fucking weirdos. I don't mean the kids who make fan characters. I personally don't know why they are hated. I find it to be wholesome seeing kids make art based of their interests. I am talking about the people who rage over any criticism towards the games, comics, developers, etc. Gotcha life fans. Any fan base that puts whatever they are fans of so high up on a pedestal that it can do no wrong. And everyone who disagrees is their sworn enemy. In other words, groups within just about every fan base that exists. What are teens today not ready to hear? Things will likely take significantly longer to achieve than you think. One day you too will be old and uncool. And it'll happen faster than you think. Just because it's new to you doesn't mean it's new. As you get older you just keep realizing how dumb you were last year. Condoms are for STDs too even though there are other ways to avoid pregnancy. Putting every aspect of yourself online is unsafe. Nobody needs to know your list of triggers or your address or your blood type. What is a subtle sign someone isn't a good person? They believe that respect is earned but demand it immediately from you. Not owning up to their mistakes and always attributing it to someone or something else. Someone who is incapable of reflecting. They are the center of their own universe. They are unable to grasp the big picture or how they fit within it. Everyone has a place in the larger picture. Which is their small view of the world. Littering. It's not a violent act or anything. But it does indicate a lack of respect that usually carries into other aspects of the person's life. They have a habit of talking bad about other people behind their backs and spreading gossip and Rumor. You can tell a lot about a person by observing how they talk about their peers behind their back. When a person occasionally vents by talking bad about someone, like their boss, or classmate, because of some unpleasant experience, that's okay. We all do it. But when a person habitually talks shit about people behind their back, that's a big red flag. They share private information about others with you. What album do you consider perfect from beginning to end? The Onion nailed this subject. HTTPS www.theonion.com slash humanity dash still dash producing dash new dash art dash as dash though dash megadeth dash s dash 1819578062 What's going on, Marvin Gaye? Wish you were here. Surfer Rosa, by the Pixies. Wu Tang enter the 36 chambers. Disintegration by The Cure I will never get bored of that album. What do you like most about the Germans? Kids are kinder there. I lived in Berlin for a bit. Came away with the impression that no other country in the world really understands bread. Road manners. They follow their country's driving rules to a T, so makes life bearable on the Autobahn. Did a lot of walking in Austria and Germany in the Alps we stayed in the mountain huts. 90% were Austrian or German always found them friendly. I think it helped making an effort to learn German if I made a mistake they'd correct me and tell me how to say it correctly but not in a snotty way. Unlike the French. An almost childlike sense of exploration when abroad. Not scared to try new stuff just for the sake of it. Every German, including me. Asterisk silently watching to see what others think about them. Which song never fails to hype you up? Song 2 Blur. R.A.T.M. Killing in the Name. Or. Daniel Tidwell. Mystic Quest Boss Battle Theme.
https www.youtube.com slash watch v equals fm8 fwekt vc dmx x gone give it to ya cracks fingers slowly presses g note on a piano white stripes seven nation army specifically the remixes electric eye by judas priest why don't you have friends i don't know how to socialize G's mom, here too? For me it's not just friends but relationships with other people in general. I'm 26 soon. Never been in a relationship. I guess I'm just not likable? Also I'm not really making any efforts to meet people since I'm fine on my own? I'm at a level where it could be concerning. I really go by days without having a conversation with someone if I'm not at work. Every activity I do alone. I just moved to the other side of the world. Alone. And so far. Haven't met anybody but at the same time. I'm not doing anything to be in a situation where I could meet people. IDK. That's a long response but most of the time. That's how things are. You're not trying not to have friends. It just happens. I am socially awkward don't know how to start a conversation or anything. I'm just not interesting at all. I mean on the surface I may spark someone's interest but after spending a small amount of time with me, I'm actually dull as fuck. I don't trust PPL. Every friend I've had has shown me another side of them that I can't accept. A wicked side. What is a movie you have only seen once and absolutely refuse to watch again? A Serbian film. Just do yourself a favor and skip this one. Subscribe, my brothers.